Yeah, so it's, it's one good way of making sure that everyone stays nice and quiet so we can hear what the, the drivers have to say. Um, but also it's just a, yeah, it's, it's like ventriloquism in, in a way. It's just, it's, you, you, it, it's great fun when you sit, when on my side, when Jack and, uh, and Carl are answering the question, you just got to stand there and look at, uh, uh, at Bobby and, and, and Creasy and, and a couple of pretty faces. So, uh, Do you want to introduce our drivers first? Yes, so if we're all seated, uh, welcome and thank you very much for joining us here. Uh, we've got our four members of uh, Team Hard. Uh, on this side of the awning, on my side of the awning, uh, Bobby Thompson and Michael Crease. That, that's a good start, that's a good start. I think we can do better on this side, to be fair. Uh, on this side, we have Mr. Carl Baldy, and we have, uh, is it Mr. Mr. Goff? Is it Jack, Jack Goff? Jack Goff. <laughs> Okay. So, um, shall we kick off by just having a quick um, assessment of uh, our first two races and first weekend at uh, at uh, Team Hard um, for uh, for you back at Team Hard? How's it been this weekend? Yeah, it's not really my first two races. Um, it's my second season, obviously, with the guys at Team Hard. Um, we're throwing the deep end a little bit. Not gonna lie. Um, we were under no illusions coming into this weekend that it was gonna be easy. We weren't going out there probably expecting to uh, to win the first race, qualify on pole, um, and come away with likes to flag. But qualifying yesterday was a bit tricky. Uh, changeable conditions. I think probably for all of us, it's probably the first time we started on the new wet. Um, so we bought this new wet tyres for the car, and um, it wasn't perfect. But we sort of worked on it later. Say we worked on it. The uh, engineers worked on it late overnight. And uh, they gave us a much better car today so far. And race one, as far as the wet race goes for us, because we were on the wet tyre in race one, we got the fastest lap of the wet runners. I'm going to take Bobby's line right here. Bobby got the fastest lap on the on the dry tyres, so uh, a full house there as far as fast as that's going. So Jack, in, in your year away from the team, okay, there's beautiful developments here. Now, now you've journeyed the Mike Bushel already. By giving detailed technical explanations. I'm not okay. talking about data though. No, okay. Sorry, carry on. Didn't mean to interrupt you, sir. Sorry, I'm used to being with James, by the way. James talks for England, so this is where I've learned it from. And that's my wife, yeah. Wales, as you know. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, again, well, fast forward then. Race two, um, it was sort of going to plan. My main aim this weekend was to be in the hunt for reverse grid. And uh, we, we held off from those pesky Hondas until two laps from the end. and. Uh, I don't think there's any MacNeil family in here, is it? I gave him a Honda back the other day, so I can say it now. But um, yeah, he went for a typical MacNeil, lunged down the inside. And I had two options. I either gave him a little bit of room, which I did, or I turned him on my normal racing line, put him up on a curb, and we'd have been speared off. So I went for the nicer part to try and save the car a little bit onto the wet patch. That's Shut up, Jeff. Come on, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Stop off me. All right, Essex over there. Come on. <laughs> So I think to, uh, to keep the attention spans going, I think we'll flick over to you if you would like to uh, fire a question at one of your uh, oh. chosen drivers. Okay, well, I'll, 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 start, I'll start, seeing as uh, Mr. Crease has uh, decided to interject himself. Well, welcome to Team Mike, and welcome to the British Touring Car Championship, and points in your first race. Uh, even David Allenson and Tim Harvey of commentary said that they never see a driver so happy just to be in the paddock. So, uh, go on then, tell us about Briefly and succinctly, and preferably with a bit of humour, tell us about your first two races. Well, what can I say, you know, first race, points, job done, season done, I'm done. There we go, thank you very much. Uh, back to you, James. I think Carl, Carl's got something to write down. We'll come to Bobby in a minute. That's the spirit. Uh, so, uh, not only first uh, weekend in Team Hard, first weekend in the two accounts, am I correct? Second. Oh, of course you did it, you did. Well, tell us about that, come on. Um, well, this is the, actually your, strictly your first weekend, is it? No, it's not strictly my first weekend. Um, we got put in the deep end at Knock Hill last year, literally. Because um, it was a swimming pool, it? It, Yeah, it was definitely a swimming pool. Um, so that was a bit of a baptism of fire. Wetting the appetite, so to speak. Um, back for this year. Um, and uh, yeah, rear wheel drive is something that I've, I've always done, so it's a bit of a transition for me. 
learning about the car every time. We're going a little bit safe bit at the minute, but um, we're gonna we're gonna go a lot more aggressive for race three and, and see if we can improve on what we've done today already. So, Bobby Thompson, P6 in race one, a career best, more points in race two. I can imagine that, uh, yeah, things are going quite well and you're quite happy with the uh, proceedings and a nice new race suit as well, which is a bit better than last year's effort. Yeah, um, wasn't expecting it at all. Uh, it was a real toss up within what tyre to go, everyone went wet in front of me and before we got to take the gamble, considering what happened last year here, we had to take the gamble. Uh, and, it, and it paid off, and, and race two, more points as well. Um, we'll go through, quickly before, we'll go back through, uh, you know, Michael and, and you, and then we'll go into Jack and Carl. A quick prediction, race three, a finish? Give us a position. Ideally finish. Um, I want to go for top ten. I'll be happy with top ten, and I want it to rain as well. What about you, Michael? Well done, Bob. We've done a really good job all weekend so far. So. Um, no, yeah, first race was epic for me, and uh, second race, I uh, came on the radio and uh, said to my, my engineer, I said, what's going on? He went, welcome to touring cars. I was getting smashed about all over the place. Um, but yeah, it puts me back to 23rd, and uh, I'm running the softs, I think, in the next race, so hopefully, you know, we, we'll just see what happens when they go off big time and then everyone goes towards the back. So I think I'll start off strong, but and then I've just got to hang on for dear life. But, you know, anything for me today just to finish the race is a mega weekend. So, Anything more than that would be a bit of a bonus. Um, we've got our soft, soft race out of the way, which was the last one. So good luck, mate, because they ain't good. Um, Max, yeah, Jack's got, Jack's got that to come as well. So we're on a better tyre. Um, be a case of sort of hanging there, early doors, and then see if we can pick one or two off towards the end. Um, Jack, do you, you uh, want the race three? Thoughts? I'd rather have been on pole position. <laughs> and I don't think we've got the outright speed to have held on, even if we're on pole position, but yeah, like uh, Creasy, I'm almost on the, uh, the soft tyre as well, so it's a bit of an unknown. We struggled a bit of drop off at the end of that race on the medium, so I'm not holding out massive hope, and maybe we'll look really good at the start, get a bit of TV time. And then... um, one thing I was wondering was, uh, we, we were watching obviously trackside, um, and it, were you just desperately trying to get that 10th place and pray for a reverse grade? It looked like you were. I was trying to keep the Hondas behind me more than anything. Um, did have a little smile when I took my, my car from last year in race one. That yeah. was nice, then cheered to myself for P12, I think it was, but even so, they all count. Um, it was holding on to dear life a little bit, yeah. We, I say we didn't really have the speed, but as long as you can get your elbows out, you know, that's the most important thing. And there was only one dry line really around most of the overtaking points, so if I could defend into turn one and get across, it was okay. Um, just as a little point here, um, we used to do this last year at Jack's uh, Hospitality. One of the things that's really important is, uh, for these guys, these drivers of this team, social media is a really important thing. So, how many of you people here are following Team Hard on social media? Okay. Well, we're all on the phones over here. Okay. Right? So, they're not following by Anybody who isn't, get it done. Come on, stop being curved Twitch get involved, get your pictures up there. It's really important. Follow the drivers, follow the Twitter accounts, the Instagram accounts, the Facebook accounts. It's really important for the team. It's really important for the sponsors as well. So if you haven't got the, so these guys on your social media, get it fixed and we'll see you next time. We'll be, we'll be asking, do a test next time. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a test to make sure that how many uh, social media followers each of these guys get. Now, um, we will open up to the audience in a little bit. There's a couple of other questions. We'd be very lucky uh, to be still here. We've got a magician, uh, Josh, who has been uh, doing plenty of card tricks and uh, uh, throughout the throughout the day. But my question to all four oh, areas, right? As long as okay. So say hello, Josh. Say hello. Hi, everyone. You alright? Hi. Next, so now, as long as you don't yep. wait. Well, oh, you've been making things disappear and reappear. Yep. reappear. Yep. Um, as long as long as no, <laughs> no that's not money in it. No, that's no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> As long as you don't make the pace from uh, the, the team hard cars to be for race three, you can stay. Yeah. Yeah. My question to all four drivers, and uh, we'll start off here. If this fine, young, virile 
um, uh, sample of a, of, a, of a man could make one driver disappear for you this weekend. <laughs> Not in the team, but any driver, I don't know if you know this going to be, who would you like to see disappear from the BTC secret just this weekend, Bob? Aiden Moffat from the whole year. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go on, Mike. Do you want to explain why? No. <laughs> well, it's a family show. There are kids here. Okay, I know it's a it first time, but you know, anyone this weekend giving you a little bit of stick, you know? Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I was thinking you, but tough way was between us all. But uh, now everyone's all right. I think uh, it'll, it'll back me that one. Well, but about seven people, I think. So uh, I think Rainbow deserves it. I think. There we go, that's, that's good enough for me, over to you, what's going on that side? Uh, Carl, who would you like to see disappear for the uh, for, for, for race 3 on this weekend? Well, I've had battles backwards and forwards for the last 10 or 12 years with Matt Simpson, so we've, okay. we've traded paint in, in other things before, so uh, yeah, he'd, he'd be the one who'd be, be up the road today for me. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm going to ask you this, but uh, who would you like to disappear for the race 3 on this race weekend? The other third. Probably Matt Neal off the apex when he was in the inside of me, that'd been perfect. Uh, I, think, I think we saw that one coming, yeah? Okay. okay. Well, that was, you know, okay, so now we get into the, the nitty gritty. And I'm all four drivers, just to think to yourself. So this is, picture the scene in, in race three, possibly, possibly not. Maybe race three at Donington, next round. But you're leading. You are leading going into the final corner, but you have one of your teammates right up your chuff, okay? Which one of your three fellow teammates would you most like to have right behind you? Because you think to yourself, oh, they're going to do all right. They're, they're not going to try and fire me off. They're going to play the game, and we're going to have a nice one-two. Team one-two. I'm going to win, and the teammate's going to finish second. So which one of the teammates do you think would you like most to have behind you in that situation? And which teammate would you think, oh, no, he's in P2. I'm going off at the final corner because he's going to launch me. So we'll start off. Who's going to... Start this oh, 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 they're already getting requests of you. So, so, Mr. Crease, who would you most like to have behind you because you think they're going to play the game? And who would you, who would you not like to have behind you because they're going to fire you off? In the team. I'd love to have Bobby behind me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. He's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell a story about yeah, in the okay. camp, right? I've got a little story, right? The other week, we were up here and uh, he said, oh, can I stay in the camp? And I said, yeah, yeah, stay with me and all that. And I've been saying he's fit all week and, and uh, I got up about six o'clock in the morning and he's laying on the sofa and he's all wrapped up and I walked past him and I was like, fuck, you know, you're still fit in the morning. <laughs> Okay, so 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 Greasy would like Bobby behind him in both of the situations. Uh, uh, tell you what, I'll, 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 Bob's up, having a bit of a hot flesh at the moment. Uh, what about someone over there? What do you guys think? Let's no, say, come back to Bob. Similar, it's the same question. Yeah. So basically, which which driver would you least like to have behind you from the team, and which one would you most like to have behind you? I was going to say, nearly again, but I can't do that one, can I? Um, when Mike was over the moon, what, when did you finish the first race? 12. 12. He was really happy with 12. So I'd probably say him, because then I'm hoping he'd be really, really happy with second. And not come too close to me. That's right. Um, yeah. And we're all racers, aren't we? We all want to win, really. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay, okay. Come on then, Bob. Racing now. Racing. Nothing personal. I'd most like... Creasy, well, no, I don't want Creasy behind me. I want near me. Uh, and I wouldn't want Baldy behind me this weekend because his brakes are not too good. So he's not, he's still going to get it stopped. Uh, that's it. Uh, that's fair enough. So, again, Carl? Carl? Uh, I think Jack's got to be the one I'd probably most, most like to have behind me if I was leading into the, into the last corner. Because he's won races before, so hopefully he can be a bit of slack and say, so well, Oh, mate, you won't have that one. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, anyway. Um, and then least likely... <sighs> I'm stepping this way. He's stepping this way. Oh, I'm running out. I can't look this, this way again, can I? I've got to look that way. So, uh, it's got to be Bobby, I think, because he's really itching for that first week. Um, and I think if it was a last lap, I, I think I'd need a new rear bumper and possibly a door as well. So, yeah. Okay. 
can I just say, I, I think one of the things we've seen this weekend is that it's so hard pulling this kind of thing together with so many drivers uh, and all this infrastructure. And we really didn't know what results were going to be. We, we could have been anywhere on the grid here. And I think we've seen some pretty spectacular, uh, 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 on both sides of here, some pretty spectacular driving, some fantastic results, some points. So I, I think that deserves a big round of applause from you, Dr. Peace. <laughs> Running in the running in the points, you know, scoring points at the end, even when you know other drivers decided that they didn't like having a, a Volkswagen in front of them and removed a couple of Volkswagens from them. They, you know, the pace was really good and they came they came back really well. Um, we are going to you know open it out to a couple of questions because well, first of all, um, on your side, who, who, who have Jack and Carl got sponsor wise? Because the sponsors of the families are the make make it all happen. Who, who have we got over there, guys? Can't see mine, guys. They've got home. Oh. Yeah, although Matt Neil's side, I'm not too sure. Um, we've got Candio Vision who's here this weekend. Um, now they do obviously audio sort of things, so TVs, guitars, things like that. So if anybody fancies the home cinema or happens to own a massive office block and these conference rooms fitting out, they're the guys to call. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and it's worth pointing out that one of the reasons why they're probably not here is they also do one of the, the you see a really nice big TV in the Team Hard Garage on this side, and that's actually supplied by Candeo Vision, and I think they're probably down there doing something with that right now, and that's why they're not here, because they have been here this weekend, haven't they? They're working. Uh, yeah, they're working, that's what it is, yeah. And yourself? Uh, for me, I've got uh, my wife, uh, Emma, over there with uh, my three little girls. I say little, two of them are getting a bit too big now, uh, showing the age and all that. Um, Richard's over there, who's the uh, best man at our wedding, uh, and he's got his lad with him as well. Um, and one of my main sponsors, 1KE Engineering, which is Alistair Murray, but he's not actually here at the minute, but I believe his mum's sitting just over there, a little wave there. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've got a few other people with us as well. Um, but, yeah, with, without obviously their support and stuff, then, you know, I certainly would be here. You know, I'd probably go along with some of the other drivers that without the backing and everything that, you know, you get from your, you know, your, your family and, and obviously your sponsors as well, then, you know, none of this is possible. So, yeah, obviously big thanks to them. Really heartfelt there, we'll soon get rid of all that. Now. Right, Chrissy, who have you got your well, you know you got most of Essex. Who, who, who have you got your sponsor wise for you? Um quite a few to be fair. We've got 140 guests come this weekend. Um, you know, it's my local track and we've got a lot of support and uh, yeah, I've got I've got PCS obviously, uh, Vince who everybody knows made it all made all this happen and uh, everybody's jumped on board and Burlington uh, uh, here is, is, <laughs> Burlington Crosswalk have uh, really, really helped out this year and uh, they've become our main sponsor and um, become sort of friends as well, really, more than sponsors. As, and, and uh, you know, we've got other, other construction manufacturers and in, in the industry, really, and um, Hands Grower, Jib Rip, DDS, Demolition, everyone, you know, we all know how tough the sponsors are to get and it's uh, it's amazing when they come aboard but it's just brilliant when they when they come here and see this and see all what all the hard work we put in and, and you know we couldn't do it without them and just want to touch on what Carl said and I know you probably can take a piss out of me but it's uh, really important to have all my family here and uh, you know I couldn't do it without all them so thank you very much for the Right under the bus, haven't you? <laughs> now, I don't mention my family and my girlfriend now. I'm not really into it the whole way home. The M25 is pretty bad on a, on a Sunday night, so yeah, thanks, uh, you two. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you. Well, first of all, I'd say thank you to my family. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the ones that get me here, obviously. Thank you, Mum and Dad. Uh, no sponsor wise, we've got Stratus Platform here. Don't have a clue what they do. When they try to explain, it's all computer stuff. I don't have a clue, but they support me, and that's what I'm grateful for. I've uh, got the guys from Technical here. Uh, obviously, GKR, take over here. Cheer up, them. Come on, smile, boys. Uh, I've got to say thank you to mum and dad, but dad don't earn enough money. Uh, we've got Vanarama Mick at the back. And also, you've got the boys from Wimrisk over here. They've got really excited, ready to go. There we are. <laughs> there you go. Well done, Bob. Oh, oh, hello. 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 Oh, hello.
there's a, there's a couple of Jeff Army fans. Uh, the, oh, there we go, the Jeff Army are in. Um, now, one thing I did notice, and, and you, when you guys watched the ITV coverage back, you know, I know from working with Bobby that Bobby was very, very concerned when Jack signed the team because um, he, he thought, oh, someone's someone's got hair that might be as nearly as good as mine. I mean, Creasy and Carl, they just want hair. Um, no, no, about hair style. However, Jack, Number one. what was going on on your grid? On your on when they pull the grid up, your mug shot. Oof. Oof. I was going to just revert back to the fact that Bobby loves my pink hair dryer. Bobby, yeah. It's not a hair dryer. It's not a hair dryer. It's a crash helmet dryer. But yeah, Jack uses it to dry his dirty crash helmet out because he gets he sweats a lot, which is disgusting. Fun fact. So I'm throwing down the bus twice. Uh, and I use it for my hair because it's I'm running out this weekend. Yeah. I've asked a video of that, uh, that, 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 uh, that big hair dryer in use, so I'll be, I'll be appearing in an episode soon. But you can't wait, ready to. So, I know that there's, there's cake coming very shortly, and what we think, to, to round this off, um, every, all four drivers have got family and sponsors here. Uh, how about we go around and we find one member of each driver's family or sponsors that are here to ask one very hard-hitting pertinent question. The only rules are you're not allowed to ask drivers what their favourite cheese is, because we just established that last year. Okay, I'll let, you, I'll let you start the first one, we'll find some... No, okay, no problem, sorry, well, I'll tell you what. Crazy, go and... well, this could be dangerous. <laughs> go and find a sponsor. Yeah, that, right that, 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 Okay, so we're gonna... One of, one of Crazy's been back as he makes this work possible. Right, a question that you'd like to ask... Or what makes a British tour driver? A question you'd like to ask the team. So, well, I'm, I'm, I'm also new to this, and uh, it's a pleasure to be uh, part of the sponsorship for, for Team Ireland and for, for Mike. And his family have been awesome. And my PA, Samantha Boyce, who said he was, uh, was organised all the guests along with uh, a few others. And she wants to ask Michael, is it true that you're coming to our summer party? <laughs> so a crash that party already, with your brother Drew. Is that true? Yeah, that's So hang on a sec, is Greasy going to get a crash to some party? Uh, already, already. Uh, Bobby's coming as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough, there's your answer now. Who have we got? You know, um, Struts. Stratus, they do like computer stuff with like, like currency, cryptocurrency. I'll well, tell you what, let's ask, uh, let's ask someone from GKR. Let's ask, so go on then. Yeah, you know, go on, Neil, Neil Rousel from, uh, from GKR Scavenging. What kind of, what really cutting edge question you've got about Bob, but don't mention that he went to Sunday for car last year, didn't he? Um, yeah. I let Bob drive one of my cars last year, and he got about 200 metres of it, and ripped the bottom end of it. So, <laughs> what I'd like to ask Bob, are you going to pay me back for that car? <laughs> so how are you going to pay back for that? And, and, and what car was it? It was a Rolls Royce. Yes, so... British touring car driver, Bobby Thompson. Explain. And apologise. I physically don't have to say, but... That was before you was going gym, so the car was a lot heavier on one side. Hence why it grounded out over your driveway that wasn't finished yet. So I think none of it's my fault whatsoever. That's fair enough. Have we got any, have we got any pertinent questions over on, on your side, James? <coughs> yes, uh, sorry. Um, we have uh, Ellen here. Um, Ellen, is, uh, tell us what relationship, uh, what, what your connection is with, uh, with the man up at the front there. This is, uh, this is Carl, not Jack, by the way. Um, <laughs> this is Carl, and uh, you have a question for you, Dad, yeah? Yeah, how do you keep your cool when you sweat so much? <laughs> so the question is, how do you keep your cool when you sweat so much? <laughs> you got to love how we have to do I'm going to talk to you the microphone, and you can have a think about it. How, 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 how do you keep your cool when you sweat so much? That is a seriously bizarre question. We're going to be having words later. <laughs> Um, I'm just fairly old now, so I just, I tend to sweat a bit, she knows that, and she gives that away, I, I, just, I tend to, uh, obviously, like, I do a bit of bike riding and stuff like that, so I'm sweating and stuff, but no, basically, in my race suit, obviously, I've got 
like all the guys have uh, regulation, you've got to have um, some leggings that are fireproof and obviously under you know under shirts that are fireproof and stuff like that. So it's a case of just searching the marketplace and trying to come up with something that absorbs as much as possible so it doesn't come through your race suit and then you stand here with all sweaty bits. There you go. Yeah, thanks, Mike. Watch out for that. Uh, highly detailed answer. Well done. Uh, last but not last, by well, no means least, James. Who have we got, Jack? We are. Um, I think everybody who's uh, followed uh, Jack uh, 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 on social media, just generally on, on, on in the tour cars, knows that it's a pretty much a family-run operation. Yeah. Uh, and there is two types of family. There's a actual blood relation family, and this here is pretty much the, a family uh, of, of golfs all together. Yeah. So we're going to pick on the team. So we've got a team statistician, he's kind of the guy that if you want to know anything, you go and ask this guy. James! Would <laughs> you like to stand up? Can, we need a question for you, from you, for Jack. I was happy to stand before. If you had a dinner fire in your house, who would you go pick? Sophie or the cat? <laughs> so, so the question is, if there's a fire in Jack's house, who would you, who would you say first? Is that, is that, so, I mean, anybody else want to throw me under the bus today? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, explain it, the choices. Is it so we have a son, son, basically. Yeah, but, yeah. But, but it's a cat. Oh, okay. So, oh, <laughs> so if you had a fire in your house, what would you say first, the girlfriend or the cat? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Sophie should be able to walk out herself. She's going to fire. That's the reason? Yeah. No, that's for answer. I to So apparently, I've got permission here, until I get outside, that I would be allowed to take the cat first. Oh, I am. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cat, apparently. Okay, well, I've got to say, that's a great answer. You know, at the end of race three, Jack, take your checkered flag, keep going to paddock, turn left, out the gate, avoid an M25 on the way home. Yeah, unfortunately, she drove herself here, so she's got a key to the house, so she's coming home at some point. <laughs> um, well, I think that uh, I know that the, the drivers have got cake, well, you guys have got cake to meet, the drivers have got. Uh, race three to prepare for. I think there's going to be a, a bit of an opportunity to uh, get some stuff signed uh, from, our, uh, from both the drivers and our, our grid assistants. Is that fair to say? I think it's, you know, our oh, good girls, they're grid, they're grid assistants, grid ladies. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. Um, can, I, can I just say one thing? Um, I think what we've, we've always uh, appreciated in this is it's, you guys feel like you come in here and you're VIP guests and it's an honour for you to be here. It's really important, I guess it comes from that side and this side, the BTCC, BCCC and this team is nothing without all the hardcore fans. So before we give everybody, everybody at this end a round of applause, I think both this side and that side, you should give yourselves a round of applause now. Go on, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, you come to these events and you, and you, you come along and you, and you meet professional racing drivers and some of you may not know what professional racing drivers are like and then you realise, ah, then you meet Creasy. And, <laughs> so there you go. Right, the cake's coming soon. Thank you very much to uh, Bobby and Creasy and, and Jack and Carl. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is, um, do we need to uh, point everybody in a particular direction for any merch this weekend? Oh, you know, that's a very good. Per- David? There's a, is there, I believe, if you go out the front door and turn right, there's a there's a Lamborghini uh, and, and one of the Team Hard Golfs. Uh, the Lamborghini hasn't had the sub ripped off, ripped off it yet, has it, Neil? Oh, so, he has to be allowed to drive that one. So I essentially, just... that's, that's where you need to head if you want some merch. Uh, lots of team wear, lots of stuff that you can see here, lots of stuff you can't see here. So if you want to go and get some, go over there and fill your boots. I think we need to wrap up pretty straight now, don't we? Yes, come on, bring on cake! Yeah. Thank you very much.